T7 Red Hawk jet trainer production delayed until 2026, plans adjusted between US Air Force and Boeing. Production of the T7A Red Hawk trainer jet for the US Air Force US Air Force has been postponed until 2026. This is based on new plan adjustments between the US Air Force and Boeing as the aircraft manufacturer. The T7A production contract will be awarded to Boeing later that year as testing of the aircraft expands and a major reorganization of the program's acquisition strategy. The US Air Force will initially award Boeing a contract to build the first production T7A in fiscal 2025 and will buy seven jets this year. However, under revised US Air Force and Boeing plans, the US Air Force will now award the contract in 2026, US Air Force Acquisition Chief Andrew Hunter said in the release. However, he stressed that the acquisition program should not stagnate, even if the price remains the same. That is why, Hunter continued, his party directed the T-7A team to implement updates to reduce risk and increase confidence in the aircraft design. The US Air Force will also purchase four additional T-7 test aircraft using 2025 research and development funds. These aircraft will be delivered next year. We value our partnership with the US Air Force and are committed to providing the world's safest and most advanced training system for our warfighters, said Steve Parker, Interim President and Chief Executive Officer of Boeing Defense, Space and Security. The US Air Force will acquire 350 T-7A Red Hawk jets from Boeing. The aircraft will replace its aging fleet of T-38 Talon trainer jets. The T-7A is a fifth-generation training aircraft designed to facilitate training of new pilots to fly fighter aircraft, such as the F-35 